Hi guys, let me show you a little bit around at uh, Gigmit. First of all, welcome. I'm very happy that you're here. My name is Marcus. I'm the founder and CEO of Gigmit. And I want to show you around to give you a first uh, introduction into Gigmit and what you can do with Gigmit and how you can actually achieve the most success. So you're here at the dashboard. Um, we jump straight in on the dashboard. You see matching uh, gigs and calls you can skip uh, them and uh, see the next one you can view and apply i recommend of course applying and, and viewing as many as possible um, so that's i think a very important feature here you have to do what you can do um, to build up your career what we believe is very important um, you can click on how to and you see uh, more details about it how it all works so that's on that side now going further you find some other artists they just recently signed up and they are amazing so you can check them out but um, what is really important for your business is that you see here and um, by the way this is a dummy profile so obviously it has no real numbers in here um, you can see um, your artist page how often it has been seen from promoters um, uh, how often you have been in searches and so on and um, also when gigmit has recommended you to promoter and which promoter uh, it actually is and when promoters have bookmarked you. When I speak of a promoter, I mean a club or a festival, so that you just know uh, the terminology. Um, it also shows you here your um, uh, profile strength and um, what is super important, and uh, that's also connected with those information here, the stats of fan and social media info, is that you have to build your artist page. Your artist page is basically an EPK, electronic press kit, that you use um, for business terms for to, to uh, yeah basically promote yourself uh, towards clubs and festivals and this arts page needs to be outstanding it needs to be you need to be super proud of it it needs to be uh, complete and in order to make that happen what is important and you find that here on the dashboard as well manage connections to connect as many sources as possible so i really recommend you to do it uh, and also, of course, to finish up your artist page and create your EBK. This is what I show you next. The artist page. So as I said, you need to be super proud of. You find it up here in the um, uh, menu bar and you see already, I mean, again, this dummy profile, right? So, but you, of course, need to shine a light here and have a great uh, cover photo. That's super important for the, the photo, your first impression is really really important make sure it's a professional photo that represents you your style and is a photo that you're really proud of and it's also in the right size um, that's also very important i hear that often from artists now you can connect your spotify to get your songs in you connect your youtube to get your videos in all very important you can connect all the other sources um, very important is the gig history that uh, you can show that you have experience playing live and you have played before so it's important to add uh, gigs for uh, past gigs and also if you have upcoming gigs add upcoming gigs if you don't have them i would recommend to do some sort of uh, live stream gigs uh, even from your living room or from your um, studio rehearsal room um, that you have something upcoming and that you also basically practice um, playing live Here's more information that is important where you are based, uh, if you like the DJ and so on, in order to, and what's your main music genre, in order to connect you to the right gigs. So that's very important to have that filled. And also, of course, um, videos from your YouTube. You can remove them. You can stare the ones that you find most important. Make sure that you do that. Um, here we have a long list uh, on, on YouTube videos. Let me scroll down. Press text. You can update a, a, a good bit of a press text. I would recommend at least three or four paragraphs about yourself um, to have that complete. And this is basically the artist page. Um, now, once you create a wonderful artist page, we have the gigs and calls section. There you find gigs and calls. They are separated here. Calls are often a bit more open, but also a lot of festivals and so in it. What I recommend is not using the filters so much, but browsing through everything and look what you find interesting and apply for every single one that you find interesting. Um, even apply for uh, things that you might not 100% comfortable with, but apply for it in order to get some feedback from promoters. You can always have the conversation later on 
playing other shows that they might promote and so on. But it's an important step to get the first um, contact. And then also go to the course. Don't miss the course. They are as important as the gigs. It's just they are a bit simpler. When you click apply, you immediately have submitted your application. So this is super important. Uh, go through them and uh, check them all out. But what is really, really important now is the festival and venue database. Here in the next part, festivals and venues, in the search, if you click on search, you find all festivals and venues that we have in the database that is growing every week. And uh, you find definitely find festivals in your genre, in your area, in your country, uh, and, and um, venues as well. And you can switch the, the button here and uh, basically um, change between festivals and venues. What's really, really cool is our new feature recommended for you. Uh, you can click on that and then it finds you based on your artist page data that we have, like your genre, uh, your size, uh, through social media and streaming and so on. It finds you venues where matching artists that are kind of in a similar phase than you have played before. And you can actually check them out and you can even reach out to the artists if you need more information about uh, them. And um, you can select all these venues that you want to uh, submit and then um, basically submit a message here. I need to just... Uh, so you can click on that and what happens then is you can put in your individual information and it sends uh, to all these promoters a message with including your fan base data, including all your media files um, and the link to your full EPK and the summarized EPK in a nice beautiful design in the way promoters want that. We have talked to many, many promoters and they really want it in that way and um, I can ensure you that this is the perfect way of getting your um, booking inquiries across. Um, and what is even more exciting is on the send EBK and status, obviously with my dummy profile, I didn't send anything, but you see here who has clicked, who has opened, who has, um, uh, where it has been sent and so on. You get all the feedback, all the stats. This is a pro feature though, I want to uh, tell you, but it's definitely worth it because you have thousands of venues and festivals in your area. You get all the feedback. Um, so it makes total sense and it's increasing all the time. Um, so yeah, I recommend going for it and, and using that. Now last, you find also the artist search that you have access to. So you can reach out actually to other artists for collaborations. You can filter by city uh, to find artists in your city, to find artists in your genre and reach out to them and send them messages on asking for collaborations, uh, maybe a shared gig, maybe a gig that you want to do together in the same in the same uh, country. So this is super exciting. Also, we have the fan charts. On the fan charts, you see basically which artists are really trending based on their Spotify and Facebook uh, fans in a certain city and you can uh, change that. So kind of follow artists that are trending in your own area or in areas where you want to play and then you can reach out to them. So, um, and you can also create a watch list, like bookmark them and then have access to your watch list here. And last, what is also very important is gig invitations in the booking section and your calendar. So you can keep your calendar, should keep your calendar up to date so that everybody see when you are available. That's up here. Um, and um, so here you can put in block dates or when you have shows and so on and so forth. And then what's also super important is the gig invites. Did you check them when promoters say, actually, I want an artist in this kind of genre, this kind of region, this style, you get gig invites here and then you can respond to them and, uh, um, and apply. And you see also your applications here and where you get offers and bookings and so on. So your whole booking section. Last but not least, here's the profile settings. So you can manage your pro subscription. You uh, can switch profiles. You can create more profiles. If you're a DJ and a band uh, all together, you can just add profiles here by clicking here on more and then create a new account. So if you also do some shows yourself, you can add a promoter account. Um, so this is all super important. And last but not least here, you see a uh, uh, open calls. So you can also open calls for collaborations if you look for artists or if you run an event and uh, look for artists. So I hope I could uh, show you around really nicely. I uh, thank you for your time and uh, yeah, hope those uh, 10 minutes were really important for you in order to get things started at Gigmit. I wish you all the best and we are really happy to have you here. So make the best out of it. This is definitely a very powerful connection to connect you to gigs and future shows. So please 
take the most out of it and um, yeah you're very welcome if you have any questions reach out to support at gigmit.com thank you very much have a good day bye bye